came to Martinique for its dreamy beaches, and the island offered you a new paradise. You experienced new natural wonders, new flavors, new sensations, new traditions, and at the end of the journey, you found so much more than a destination. You found a new family. La Martinique, El Vuzin. Happy holiday season, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so glad you're joining us today for this very, very special live. I'm coming to you from New York City, and I wanted to give a shout out and thank the Martinique Tourism Authority for putting this meetup together. So excited to share gastronomy and holiday traditions from Martinique today live with you guys and with a special chef coming to us directly from the island of Martinique. That is amazing. So she's going to be showing. Thank you, Priska, for joining us today. Thank you for having me, really. I'm happy to share that moment with you all, guys. Isn't it cool? Like, this is what I love about lives. Look at this. I'm like, Priska is going to come from the island of Martinique, and then she appears with us. <laughs> we're all here together. So i um, so excited that we're doing this live today, sharing holiday traditions. And we're encouraging you guys, please ask us questions today. Ask Priska questions. Ask me questions. I've been to Martinique now to film. Love the island for my PBS series. And we're going to be asking a question of you guys at the end of the meetup. So please pay attention. Um, we'll have two people entered to win gift bag for Martinique that get the answer correct. So pay attention to the live today. And again, please interact with us. We love to hear from you. So Priska, where are you coming to us today? Like, where are you located today in Martinique? I'm in Fort de France, you know, in the capital, really, I'm nearby the sea, and uh, I'm in the house of Roms, uh, which is a great a place you can come to discover all our selection of local rum. Amazing. Yes. And Fort de France is a great place to visit for you guys. And what's great, too, is that where Priska's coming to us today, where she's broadcasting live, is a place you can visit and buy some rum and bring it back home with you. So that's awesome. And I just wanted to tell folks a little bit about your story, Priska, because I was really impressed with your background and your history on the island in Martinique. I understand that you are a self-taught Creole gourmet cook and that you are always using islands from um, ingredients from the island of Martinique in your dishes, which is so cool. And Priska is not only um, a chef, but she also has a restaurant now that recently opened called The Corner. So when you guys go to visit Martinique, you can go to her restaurant. And something else that's cool, I understand right now, Priska, that restaurants are open with no curfew um, in Martinique. Mm -hmm, absolutely, yes, we are. <laughs> free, but we have still to pay attention and take care. Very cool. So the recipes that Priska makes for you guys that are tuning in, if you want to check them out, she does have a blog. It's called Ma Cuisine Creole, and she's posting images that are beautiful. They're mixing the traditional and the creative. And her recipes, as you'll see today, that she's going to share with us, they're relatively easy to make. And she learned all of these things from her family. Her grandmother taught her. Her mother taught her. So we are getting authentic, firsthand information today from Priska coming to us from Martinique from the House of Rums. So I'm, I'm excited to start out with a recipe that I actually tried to emulate here in New York City. And it's, it's really strong on my end, Priska. So you're going to have to give me some tips and give everyone at home some tips for how to make tea punch. And tell yeah. us about what tea punch is. Exactly. And you did great because the way mm -hmm. to say welcome here in Martinique is, you know, to welcome people with a tea punch. So this is really the perfect cocktail to begin, you know, a great moment of sharing together. So to do a proper tea punch, you're going to need some rum. But we use in the tradition the white rum. And I can say that I'm an expert in rum because I've learned with my grandfather and my father. So I really have the authentic recipe. <laughs> so you have, you need white rum, you need also lime. Okay, I'm going to explain how to do that. And of course, sugar. And we use the local sugar, which is brown. Okay, so I show you how to do that. And you will tell me if you had the red, the white. <laughs> <with it. laughs> 
<laughs> I, did, I did use the ground sugar. I did get you get that right. And you know what? When you cut a lime, it smells so fresh already. It's cold yeah. here in New York today. I was cutting that lime and I was thinking, oh, this smells so good. It smells so fresh. It makes me want to go down to the French Caribbean and be a Martinique right now. And that is true that the lime give the freshness, but the rum give the warmness. You okay with that? <laughs> it, it will make me really warm if I have them. <laughs> <laughs> so what you need it does, is a teaspoon of sugar directly in your glass. Not that, not too much, not, not more. And then you cut your lime. But there is a way of cutting it because what we want is more skin than pulp, you know? So we have the juice, but the most important is there, the skin. So what I do is to press it up and drop it directly like that so easy and then i had the rum which is here and just on the top of the line so maybe you can use more rum in your tea punch, i guess i think so i think i do need more rum and it's it's actually we have a question that came in from veronique who oh yeah asking, right. tell me she was asking you is the tea punch a traditional christmas cocktail the tea punch is the traditional cocktail for every moment of the year. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, traditionally people would have a tea punch at many different times in, in the day. For example, you begin the day, you used to begin the day with a tea punch, you know, to give you strength and courage to go to work. You know, because hard workers used to go to the um, sea or the... Um, or in the um, sugarcane uh, field and stuff like that. They were big workers. So they said they take a fly out <laughs> to begin the day, which is the name of the first tea posh of the day. And then through the day, you could have one or two, it depends. But now it's really the way to say welcome when you visit someone. So you see, I've mixed all the ingredients and what I'm doing there, you know, it's to mix it. And that is very important because there you're gonna, let all the aromas go out, you know, and the sugar is going to melt and you can smell now all the flavors of the rum, the sugar, mm. the lime, and now you have really a concentrate of freshness here in your glass. And what we do most of the time during that moment is that we talk a lot. Well, a this lot. is a good thing because before you take a sip, we have another question that I'll throw at you from Jonathan. And okay, he let's do that. Jonathan, and you guys, yes, please keep asking us questions. We love to have the questions, comments. Jonathan's asking, what can you pair with tea punch? What would you eat or drink with this? Very good question. <laughs> the best pair is, of course, the Accra, which is an appetizer mm. we're going to discover later, which is a fritter. It goes well with every, every cod fish or, you know, fish or stuff like that, or um, seafood generally. But basically, you can have it with anything like chips or so or ham or whatever you want. It matches with everything. So I say that it is really the perfect apéro, as we say in French. Well, we have many other um, things to show you, but we both want to give you a little cheers, first of all. And thank you for joining us for this special Martinique holiday live today, sharing holiday traditions from Martinique. And I'm going to finally try this. Um, Prisca, I have not actually had a sip of my tea punch yet, so. Santé here, santé. Santé. Mm. Woo! I'm gonna stop there because I have to finish, you know the show? <laughs> I'll keep it here for later. <laughs> And we had one more question before we talk about, actually, let's talk a little bit before this question about the rums, because okay. all over the island of Martinique, you can go to rum distilleries. It's something I did when I was there, which I really, really enjoyed. And I'd love to hear you, Prisca, talk a little bit about what makes Martinique and rum different. It's something called an AOC, and we're seeing the barrels of rum right now um, at one of the distilleries. But tell us a little bit about what makes Martinique rum unique. We have here a label, which is called, called AOC, which is like a control appellation that really describes the rum here from Martinique. We are doing what we call agricole rum, which is a rum we make uh, from the juice 
of the of the sugar cane and when you come here it's important to discover the way they make it but also to discover the different distillery because it is like raw, uh, wine you know we have a terroir and each terroir give a specificity a taste a particularity to the rum so the north is different from the south and if the sugar cane are nearby the sea they are not the same if they are near the mountain and that is interesting to do like the road of rum la route du rum and uh, discover all those flavors and uh, the um, what we have we do best here in Martinique, really. And and Kate was asking a question. She she wants to know what's a good substitute if you can't find the rum agricole, which is obviously the best rum to use. Would there be a substitute for that? I'm sorry to say no. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to Martin. You can get some of it. No, no, no. You can you can use, of course, you can use another rum, you know. But I really encourage you to discover the Martinican one, and you're gonna understand why why it is one of the best of the world. Yes, and I love that you can go to distilleries literally all around the island. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, in honor of the holidays, I wanted to briefly bring you a look at my eggnog, which um, oh my god, <laughs> I could have a cinnamon stick in here, but I chose today to have a Christmas candy cane. <laughs> um, I'm going to be sharing the recipe with you, Priska, but I wanted yeah. you to share with us something that you guys make in Martinique that's similar to this. Absolutely, we have for holidays a cocktail, a ponche, a cocktail called coconut. Po Don't drink that! I want to taste it. <laughs> I want some. <laughs> you guys, if you're, if you're having drinks at home because we're drinking over here. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Uh, so the coconut ponche is really easy to do, and I think you're gonna try it. You can try it. Really, it's easy. Normally, it's a cocktail you make with. Um, a warm cocktail, something you prepare in advance, you know, in a big pot, and you're gonna wa warm the cook kit in a way, warm the rum and the milk, etc. But I'm gonna show you the easy one, so you can have it just tomorrow or right away, right away if, if you have the ingredients. To do the property uh, co coconut punch, sorry, you're gonna need some coconut cream, okay? So see how it is, just like that. Then you add condensed milk. I know you have that. We use it a lot for our desserts so, and stuff like that, dessert. Up. After that, I put some cinnamon inside, just grated, grated cinnamon. Also nutmeg, you can put some if you like it. I put some lime, the zest. I bet it smells so good over there where Priska's like taking all these spices and mixing them together and fresh lime and rum. <laughs> <laughs> you can also put some vanilla if you want, some vanilla extract. Today I feel more like, you know, in a lime mood, so more lime. Up. And then you put the rum. So I mix white rum and aged rum, just like that. We're gonna see, well, a big spoon of each. Just like that. The edge rum is gonna put some flavors like wood and uh, smoked uh, wood, um, spices and stuff like that, you know, the warmness. And the right rum is, gonna, is going to bring the freshness and the strength also. So you need both of them. That's what I think. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know that rums are different colors. Like you have so many, you have the white, you have the um, the brown that you're showing us. I mean, a lot of people, like I didn't even know that much about rum before I went to Martinique. So this is an education yeah. in itself. Yeah, first you have the white rum that is directly from the distillery. And then you put the white rum in barrels for a second, several time. And you have the edge rum, uh, three years, five years, six, and sometimes more. And that is like wine, you know? It gives really flavors and taste uh, to the rum. So you have different kinds. And this is, ta-da, my tea ponche, my coconut ponche, sorry. I'm still on the tea ponche, I don't know why. <laughs> and here you are, and you can put some ice inside. But see, it's same color of yours. So I say yeah. cheers, and Very I have similar. my cinnamon stick. So, Oh, like you. <laughs> I love it. This is this is fun. I mean, 
So I might try to make yours now during my holiday season this year, even if I can get all the ingredients, because it would just be fun. Again, I love introducing people at home to different traditions that you come across when you travel around the world. And today, like we're all getting introduced by Prisca to the Martinique holiday tradition. So this is awesome. These are things that we can share at home. So how does it taste, Prisca? Uh, always great. <laughs> mm. This is really holidays. I can recommend you to try the traditional, really authentic version, which is the same. But as I told you, you cook it a few times, you know, a few moments. You put it in a bottle and you keep it one week, like one week rest resting before you drink it. Even better. And the recipe is on my blog. Oh, that sounds that sounds great. Even better. And we're going to be sharing some of the recipes with you guys today in the chat. So keep watching the chat for the recipes and keep coming to us if you have questions or comments. But I actually had a quick question for you, Priska. So with with these different drinks that you're making, you would, I assume, enjoy them with your friends and family during the holidays. Do you guys also do Christmas caroling? We oui, totally, yes, we do that, absolutely. We have that tradition that we call in, Cre in Creole la ribote, which is really Christmas choral. And the tradition was to begin in a house, you know, in the area of, of the house and go house to house and sing just like you do. But it was important to be well received. So tiponche, acra, ham, uh, black sausage, we call it here boudin. It was really the tradition, you know, all night long to stay home to home, but you have to eat and drink in order to share really. And uh, this is why I, I had some boudin and ham here, just to show you how it look. Ta-da, you see? Wow. Those are really traditional for the period, you know? You've and got it works over there. You've got it all laid out that you're making me a little bit jealous with my... <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 pray that we can share that moment maybe next year when you come you, you will be able to come back it will be really really great for sure and and bob came in with a question he's he's typed into the chat and asked does martinique produce 151 rum 151 rum yeah you mean the number of rum yeah i guess so one i don't know what that is bob we'll have to i might have to look yeah that. Yeah, we have a lot of different rums, though, so I would not be surprised. <laughs> I know it's not one uh, one hundred rum. Is we that have proof. Uh, is we that don't have that much distillery, but what is true that each distillery has the white and the aged rum, and also different kind, you know, with fruits and cocktails and stuff like that. So maybe if we count everything, we can have that much choice of rum, maybe. Yeah, and Bob, clarify it for us if we mess that up. And yeah. maybe that could have been the proof or something too, I was just thinking. But um, I'm kind of excited because Prisca is also going to share with us something that I was able to try in Martinique. I went, I'd just gone snorkeling in these beautiful waters and I had a planter cocktail and I was able to try something called okra. Do you want to yeah. explain to us like when you eat it and what it is? Yeah, the Accra are the typical appetizer we have here. I mean, if you want, go somewhere, there is no tea punch and no Accra, just leave. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it is not the proper way to say welcome. <laughs> Those fritters, we made them uh, with the codfish, but also with vegetables. And I wanted to share with you the recipe of the pumpkin Accra, my pumpkin fritters. Really easy to do. We fry, we prepare them spices and many, many flavors and we fry them. And after you can just enjoy them with the people you love. So the recipe is really easy. First, you're gonna need a swatch or a pumpkin. So this is the local one, a small one. So we, you reduce it like that, like grated, you know, but raw, you see? Like a smash maybe, but yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah. So just, uh, just grated. And you're gonna mix all the ingredients together. I present you the most important, which are what I call the Trinity, which are all the spices we do you, we use to make really Creole great food. So for that, you're gonna need some green onions, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna need also parsley, some thyme here. And of course, our peppers, which we call sweet pepper. 
Mm. Now, those ones are not hot. You can use the hot if you want to really to do the traditional version, but those ones are perfect just to give perfume. So with that, you know, we mix all together to have that. You add inside some onions and garlic too, all grated together, and you have what I call the Creole mix. So the Trinity, green onions, parsley, thyme, which is the bouquet garni Creole, and you add after the peppers, onion, and garlic. So I mix it all together. And the recipe is really, really easy. And for those of you at home, we're actually going to be putting the recipe, if we haven't already, in the chat for you so that you can make this at home as well because it is it is really easy to make. All this, all the recipes that Prisca is sharing today, especially the cocktails, are pretty easy to whip up at home. So what I do now is to put up the pumpkin, my herbs, just like that. Mm. The more you have, the best it is. <laughs> Some salt and pepper, of course. Up. Okay, and then, oops, you mix it. And you add some flour. Okay. Then you are going to need a mix of baking powder and baking soda to make them puff and be, you know, very light. I mix it all together. And then it's really easy. You just need some water to have a batter uh, like a sugar cane, um, uh, not sugar cane, sorry. I'm always on the Pancakes, pancakes batter maybe. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Pancakes, like pancake batter. So up mm -hmm. some butter, up, and I mix it. So really like pancake batter. Can, do you see the color? Yeah, and it actually looks so color. Well, all the different things you put in there, it seems actually seems really healthy. Which you is know, yeah, because yeah. we don't well healthy until you fry it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, we don't, we don't we need uh, extra extra oil or stuff like that. It's really easy. Yeah. Inside, you can also use um, add some shrimp, for example, or stuff like that, or fish, or have it just like that, just vegetables. And you can do it with any kind of vegetable you want, carrots, um, um, how do you call that, potatoes, for example, or so, zucchini, what you like, you put it inside. So when you have that, you let it rest a moment in the fridge and then you fry it. And you want to see how it is after? Sure, yes, we've got to have the big reveal. I mean, Prisca, the best thing would be obviously if all of us could be there trying it with you, but. <laughs> Ta -da! So once they're fried, you have that. Really, they are smooth inside, crunchy outside, which is, that means that you made a good job. And I show you one. You know, just like that. Maybe you can see. It's like, almost, it looks, it reminds me of a falafel a little bit, actually. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, the vegetable yeah. version is like that. And really, really good. Great. Oh, my gosh. We're very jealous of what you're eating right now. But, again, these are easy to make at home. I was able to try them in Martinique. They're really, really good. If you want to call it a fritter, if you want to call it the Martinique version of falafel, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> traditional in Martinique and traditional during the holiday season. So very cool to get the recipe from you, Prisca, and be able to share it. And um, you know what? I actually brought a surprise for you to oh. enjoy, and it's something that I still have for Martinique, but I would love if you could talk a little bit about it for folks because this is very traditional during the holidays, and I was kind of excited that I had a bottle that I'm going to get to open up during the holidays. So why don't oh, you tell us, yeah, tell us all about this. So this is called Shrub, S-H-R-U-B-B. This is the holiday, really, really typical holiday liqueur you're going to have. It is made of skin of orange. So the tradition is that you eat the orange and... Um, of during the end of the year, then you keep the skins, you dry them during six months, then you put the skins in rum and let it rest like that for a few months. And with that, you prepare that liqueur, which is made also of sugarcane syrup and cinnamon and uh, whatever spices you want to add inside. This is really, really, really holiday for sure. 
Well, again, I will be having the punch cocoa, maybe some tea punch, cracking this open. So I'm gonna have my own little Martinique celebration here at home in cold, snowy New York City. And yes, I'm really loving it. <laughs> oh, I wanted to add something, if you may, if I may. We talk about the coconut punch, we have the tea punch, we have the shrub, but you have to, you have to know that we also have the peanut punch which is also another recipe you can find. So you do it with peanut butter. Imagine that. Mm, that sounds so good. All of these recipes, this is so awesome. And I hope you guys at home have been taking notes because, and look back in the chat for some of these recipes. Again, easy to make, traditions from Martinique. And if you go to Martinique, you can hit the island distilleries and do a whole trip out of the Martinique rum brew, which is really awesome. Um, Priska, I'm excited too, because while I cook, I love to listen to music and I know yeah. everyone out there as well. And Martinique has a new Ma Martinique Magnifique Spotify channel. It's called Martinique Caribbean Vibes. I've been listening to it at home. There are seven hours of music and it's a really good overview of major Martinican artists. Um, you've got traditional artists, you've got up and coming artists. And if you're, you know, in in an area where it's cold right now, if you're if you're in the holiday season, this is just a really good mood booster. So I definitely recommend getting through these fall and winter gray days by listening to the Spotify playlist because it's been really, really awesome. And for you guys that are out there at home, if you have any other questions, please type them into the chat. We can either answer them now or post this Facebook Live. But it's been really great to um, have Prisca on. And I hope you guys were paying attention even just recently because we have a question that we are going to be asking you. And those of you who get the correct answer, we're going to enter those into a draw. And there will be two winners announced in the next few days to win gift bags from Martinique. So you will get your own little piece of Martinique sent to your house. So I'm excited to um, be putting this question on screen. You guys type your answers into the chat. What is the name of the punch macerated with the rinds of acidic fruits that we were just talking about? I'll give you a little hint. <laughs> what is the name of the punch macerated with the rinds of acidic fruits? So type your answers into the chat. We will be um, picking two winners, so stay tuned. Please follow the Martinique Facebook page to, to stay tuned to all of these things and, and keep in touch with us. I mean, I love these kind of, these kind of lives right now when we're, a lot of us are stuck at home, we can still get a taste of culture, get a taste of Martinique. Priska again has been coming to us from the House of Rums in Martinique. Thank you, Mr. Kitchenun there at the House of Rums for hosting you. I will be excited to go back there and look at all those different rum bottles and try to bring some back home and see if there's 151 rum that Bob would have to get out of there. Um, right now, obviously, we're all waiting for the resumption of flights with American Airlines to go back to Fort de France so we can visit Prisca, take a cooking class with her, um, check out her blog in the meantime, Ma Cuisine Creole, to see some of her recipes and her great tips. But I love these meetups on Facebook. They're a great opportunity for us to share cultures and to meet people like Prisca. Obviously, we're all looking forward to the chance to actually get back out there and travel and go to places like Martinique. But in the meantime, I really do. I appreciate you coming in today, Prisca. Thank you. My pleasure. Really, really. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And thank you, Martinique Tourism Authority, for hosting this. Again, you guys follow on Facebook. Check out the Martinique Spotify channel, get some good vibes going. And I'm also excited because I was able to film two episodes for my PBS series in Martinique and you guys can watch them on Amazon Prime. And we wanted to go out with a bang. So we're gonna go out of this live today, first of all, having some of the drinks that we made, but also sharing with you a promo for all the episodes that you can watch from Martinique from Travels with Darley on Amazon Prime. Thank you so much, Prisca. I'm double checking you. Yeah, oops. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Love the lives. Love this. I'll take a sip of this eggnog. Amazing. So thanks to you guys for joining us today. And again, um, looking forward to the next time we can head down to Martinique, head down to the islands. And in the meantime, yeah, check out the episodes that we created and Check out all the great content we're putting out in order to encourage people to, to learn about the world in places like this. Woo!
We're exploring Martinique and the French Caribbean, including top places to sun, sail, snorkel, eat, drink, and enjoy eco-friendly nature and fascinating culture on Travels with Darlie.